All right, let's compare fractions today. I love fractions. They can be so much fun. And fractions are awesome because we use fractions all of the time, everyday life, be it with buying gasoline, cooking, baking. It has such an important skill. Okay, so we need to figure out which sign makes the sentence true. I have two thirds and two thirds. Well, look at the fractions, are my numerators and denominators the same? They are. I have two and two for my numerators, three and three for my denominators. Look at the pictures. If I were to cut this one out and place it right over top, would the shaded in parts match exactly? Yes. So is it less than, equal to, or greater than? They're equal. Nice job. Okay, let's look at this one. Which sign makes the sentence true? I have one fourth and one fifth. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to? Now, just looking at the pictures, they look kind of similar, but we have to do more than that. We can't just go, oh, it kind of looks similar. We actually have to do some work. And I have a nice little shortcut for comparing fractions when the numerator is the same. Okay, so my numerator in both of them is one, okay? Great. Now, what is four minus one? It's three. What is five minus one? Four, okay? So, which is closer to one? Three or four? Three is closer to one. So that means this fraction here, one fourth, is greater than one fifth. The thing with fractions is the higher the denominator, the smaller the piece. So one fourth is greater than one fifth. Okay, one half and one half. If I overlap those pictures, would the shaded in parts match up exactly? Well, my numerators match, my denominators match. So what sign goes in there? Less than, greater than, or equal to? Equal to, good job, they're the same. Okay, this time we have two fourths and two fifths. Okay, now we can use our same sort of trick that we did before. My numerators are the same. Awesome. Okay, what did we say about numerators? When the numerators are the same, what happens with the denominators? It's easy to compare. The smaller the number, the bigger the piece. Okay, so that saying that these four individual pieces are bigger than the five individual pieces here. So which is greater than? Two fourths or two fifths? Two fourths is greater. Which sign makes this sentence true? Two fourths and two fourths. They're the same, right? So they're equal, good job. Next, one fifth and one fourth. Okay, my numerators are the same. Denominators, five and four. What did we say? The lower the number, the bigger the piece. That's like saying I have two pizzas that are the same size. I have to share one pizza with four friends. And there's another pizza to share with five friends. If the pizzas are the same size, and I have to share it between more people, that means the size of the slices are going to be smaller, okay? But if I'm only sharing with four friends, we each would get a bigger slice. So is one fifth greater than 
less than or equal to one fourth. It's less than, good job. Next, one third is blank to one fourth. Okay, what do we notice? Our numerators are the same. We have ones. So we can look at our denominators. We have three and four. What did we say? The lower the number, the bigger the piece. Think of the pizza. If I have a pizza to share with three people, will the slices be bigger than a pizza to share with four people? Right, so one third is greater than one fourth. You can even see here, it's a little bit easier to see. This blue shaded in piece is greater than that shaded in piece. So one third is greater than one fourth and one half. Now, our numerators are the same, but our denominators are different. But we have the pictures to help us out. So looking at the pictures is one fourth right here, greater than, less than, or equal to the gray shaded in portion here. Well, that's less than, it's lower than. How about here? One third and one third. Now you can see they're shaded in in different areas, but look at our fractions. One third, one third. They are what? They're equal. Good job. Let's try one more. Two fourths and two thirds. Okay. What do we notice? Denominators. Let's talk about our numerators. Our numerators are the same. How about our denominators? We have four and three. Okay, what did we say? The lower the number, the bigger the piece. Sharing a pizza with four people, the sizes of each slice will be smaller, but sharing with three people, each piece will be bigger. So what goes in the blank? Two fourths is what than three fourths? Is it equal to, less than, or greater than? It's less than. Awesome job with these fractions.